Hi y'all, I'm Sarah, singer, songwriter based out of St. Pete and front woman of Ernestine Black, and you are watching Sweet and Sour. Air guitar or air drum? I'm gonna go with air drum because you can do that more easily wherever you go. In the car on your steering wheel, uh, at the grocery store on your shopping cart, you know, just a little air drum action. I feel like if you just blast out into like air, air guitar, then people are gonna think you might be on drugs. <laughs> oh gosh, that's a good one. Um, it depends, what kind of audience do you want to attract? The people who can't sleep late at night and are impulsive buyers or like the rest of the world. Um, <laughs> I will go with Instagram famous because all the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> okay, so I'm really lame and hi, I have never had a single vinyl record in my life. I'm gonna go with digital digitally <laughs> because it's just more convenient. Um, and I just can't start a vinyl collection because that's just money I just don't have. <laughs> cowboy boots all the way. I have a few pairs of cowboy boots and these boots were made for walking and stomping and kicking ass. <laughs> No, I didn't realize there was a boot bar. Now I'm gonna have to go. But I, th I thrift all my clothes, like online. Yeah, so don't tell me about boot barn. There's a whole barn full of boots. That sounds like a magical place. Oh my gosh, great question. Uh, sleep one hour and be fully rested. Oh my gosh. I always complain that there's not enough time in the day to do everything that I want. I am the stereotypical manic creator with like way too many ideas and side hobbies and I just like want to do it all but I can't. And I'm also like really tired all the time. It's probably because I use my brain like way too much and the rapid thoughts always firing. <laughs> Current new hobby is I started carving um, rubber stamps uh, to print my own shirts. Yes. And so far, it's a mess. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> um, I will go with the Ramones. Um, I've never been a huge Beatles fan. I think that they are obviously an important influence in the history of music, um, but just kind of not my, my vibe. Um, if I had to pick a song, it, it's always, um, I don't even, I feel so terrible. I don't even know the title of the song, but it's the one that is, um, uh, oh gosh, um, I am the walrus. <laughs> Cuckoo, kachoo. That's all I know. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have so many haters now. I'm so sorry. Documentaries. Which still, if you think about it, you know, they can be a little skewed too. So is one more real than the other? That's just a skeptic in me talking. But documentaries for sure. I, I like to feed my brain with good stuff, not like people screaming at each other. <laughs> oh, I should say take my family on vacation because we're so busy, we don't get to see each other. And I have a niece and um, she's eight years old or nine <laughs> and she's growing too fast. So I would take them on a vacation because time flies. You know, My friends can pay their own way. I will 
definitely go with do something great for humanity and have people hate me because I feel that that's kind of the case anyways. You can do a lot of good things and you're always gonna have someone who doesn't like you. So um, that was the question, right? Did I change it? Okay, okay. All right, I thought, <laughs> I, thought I changed it, I couldn't remember. But yeah, do something great for humanity. If, you, if you're able to, then yeah, duh, do it. Well, I guess as a musician, every musician wants to impact pe people positively through their music. Um, that would be cool. I, as a musician, I really, or in my everyday life as a person, it's like my whole objective to make people feel uh, seen and heard and uh, not so alone in this brief existence. Coffee, because it's probably an addiction at this point, and if I don't drink coffee, then I do get a, a little bit of a headache. Um, and also, I actually just entered the field of barista, uh, so I'm learning all about coffee. Now, I can pour lattes. They're not very pretty yet, but I can do it. And I'm very proud of myself. So coffee all the way. <laughs> small, small venues. Yeah, I like cozy, intimate settings. And I feel that that's where my music fits best. And um, yeah, I like smaller crowds. You get to interact with them more personally. And yeah, that's, it would be cool though to play a big arena one day. I'm not saying I don't want to, anyone watching who just happens to own a big arena. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. You can follow me on my personal Instagram account at Sarah's underscore up to something and the whole band at Ernestine Black Band. On February 28th, I have my EP Bullets and Daisies dropping. Super excited. Hope you enjoyed watching and Please follow, like, subscribe for more sweet and sour videos.